Uh, this is one of the lightest uh, folding power chairs on the market that also has a remote control. This is called the X7 by ComfyGo. Um, this unit is super lightweight. Um, now it's not the most rugged unit on the market, so I'm not going to recommend this if you're a heavy set person, if you're trying to take this in grass or things like that. But if you need something lightweight um, and that is an issue and you do have a hard time uh, with the joystick, um, this would be a good alternative for you. So this does have a 265 pound weight capacity. I wouldn't recommend being near the weight capacity, but if you're 200 pounds and under, this could be a good option for you. So this unit here uh, is 40 pounds with the battery removed from the unit. The batteries do come out easily from underneath the unit. Um, now you can get two batteries in this unit or you can get one battery. So basically it is airline approved. It's a seven and a half amp battery um, that is gonna get you about 10 miles on a full charge, a little less than 20 miles um, if you have two batteries in the unit. So it's got about a four mile an hour top end speed. Um, and so in about a six degree climbing angle, but really what makes this unit kind of unique on the market, it does fold up kind of like a manual chair. Um, they actually offset the motors in the back so that it can fold up, which we'll show you here in a minute. Uh, and then really the cool thing about this unit is uh, if you do have it on and you do request a remote um, at the time of order, um, you can pair the remote just like you can with all the rest of the Comfy Go equipment. And then when you have the remote paired, then you can actually drive the unit from the remote. So with the remote here, this is the universal remote for all the Comfy Go equipment. Um, we do have a pairing video too if you need to see that online. But with this remote, um, you can drive the chair. So uh, we haven't tested it with the X7, but with their bigger units like the 7000 autofold, um, I, we were getting about 60 yards total distance on a remote. So um, you can do everything from the horn um, to driving the unit from here. Um, so that is going to be a game changer for some people in the industry, or in, not in the industry, um, on this market that need a product that is going to uh, allow them to hold this remote, whether it's on their chest, near their lap, different things. Um, we've seen people with MS and MD and different types of progressive diseases that have a hard time reaching out, grabbing the remote, but they can hold this against their chest and they can drive the chair um, like this instead of having to have their arm outreach. So um, that's basically why we like this unit, um, the 40 pounds with the wireless remote. So uh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go over a few other specs. It's got uh, two motors in the back. They're brushless motors. Uh, they are 250 uh, watts each. Um, so I like to actually put a tape measure on products when I do the videos because some of these manufacturers get specifications that are not always 100% accurate. So we like to kind of get our own measurements on this chair. So first measurement I'm gonna get you with is overall width of the chair. So armrest about 22 and a half inches. I have a feeling your wheels are inside that. They are, you're at about 21 and a half inches. So if you do think um, that is right at 22 inches, so people are gonna ask this too, can I take this on a cruise line? You know, most cruise ships have about a 22 inch door opening on a non-handicap room. Um, so you're gonna be just over that with this unit. You're at 22 and a quarter inches. But if you were able to still at least get to your door, you can fold this up, slide this in the room, and still be able to use this on a cruise ship because it is approved for all types of transportation on this unit. So uh, that was 22 inches and in overall width. The seat, actual seat cushion is gonna be 16 inches wide by about 15 inches in depth. So um, now you could put a different cushion over top of this and just sit it on, but do remember you're gonna sit up a little bit higher on the unit. So. This unit armrests do flip up. There's a little gray tab here on the side. You can push that, flip your armrests up. You can actually see with the design of this unit here, that armrest is almost flush with the backrest. If I had to guess, you're probably less than an inch that it would stick up when the backrest is suppressed. So some other units, it sticks out a little farther. We have other units that it flips completely out of the way. So if transferring is an issue, um, definitely let us know about that when you're wanting to purchase the chair. So joystick can be on the right hand side or on the left hand side. Um, that is easily transferable. Um, basically there's a little tab underneath here that you would loosen this knob and then you'd run the cable to the other side of the unit. So um, this unit here, seat to ground height is another measurement people like to know. Um, this one sits at 18 and a half inches top of the seat to the ground. So that is actually pretty low. Um, a lot of units out here standing on the market are good about 20 inches seat to ground height. So that is lower if you need something low to the ground. Um, that is an option. Some people need something higher off the ground. So do remember that's 18 inches. So if you do have a hard time getting out of a chair from a seated position, that might not be the unit for you. Um, now this unit actually does have individual leg rests. Um, I will tell you that obviously trying to keep this product at 40 pounds, they had to put more plastic and different things on this unit. So you do have individual foot plates here, but I would not recommend standing on those because you can see them actually flex. They do have a few adjustments on here. 
Um, and if you actually pull that tab, they do swing out of the way. So if you did pull these tabs, you would be able to um, sit back in the unit with no obstruction. And then once you're seated in the unit, you can bring the legs back in. They do snap in place on both sides. And this is kind of what you would look like. So do remember I'm a six foot tall, 220 pound individual. So um, I might look a little bit big for this unit, but if you were 5'8", 150 pounds, obviously you would fit in this uh, differently than I would. Um, on the joystick, we'll show you in a little overlay, but on here you have your battery gauge and you have your speed. So uh, I know they make a lot of these chairs overseas. So right now it's in kilometers per hour. Um, we'll try to find out and see if we can set this to uh, miles per hour. Um, but you do have a speed gauge on here. It looks like you have about seven different speeds. Um, I believe it's about four miles an hour top end speed. You have the horn, which is actually a pretty loud horn, um, which you see in the, uh, compared to what else chairs you see in this industry. And then you have an on and off button. So um, you can see in this unit, um, when I'm driving this unit, it is a rear wheel drive unit, um, but it does have a pretty small turning radius. So uh, rear wheel drive is mean uh, the front end is gonna turn around um, the back wheels. Uh, a lot of chairs on the market are a front wheel drive unit, so this will turn a little bit differently. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to show you this unit folding up. So you do have to have your foot plates flipped up, um, which you can see here. We flipped them up. Um, the back and bottom cushion are on by Velcro, so you can just un-Velcro those. You do have to set these to the side. It's not going to really allow you to fold this up easily uh, if you have these cushions on. Um, once you have those cushions removed, you actually have two handles right here on the seat. If you were to lift at the same amount of weight on each handle, you will see the unit fold up together. Um, from here, you actually have these two tabs back here in the back that you can press and now your arm rests. So now you're a really lightweight, compact unit. Um, I will show you this does have the battery still on it right here. If you had another battery, it would go on this side, but right now this is only with a single battery. So what you would do to remove it is you would push that tab, lift it up, and then you have a connector in the back. You would twist the ring and unplug it. If you took your battery off, like I said, now you're down to 40 pounds. Um, with the battery, I'm going to guess you're probably 43, 44 pounds. So, but this is a really small compact unit. You could take your leg rests off as well if you needed, and then you would have it even more compact. Um, it looks like right here, you can actually take the battery off the unit, um, just like I showed you, and then you could bring it inside and charge it outside of the unit. So if you want to leave this in your vehicle and just charge the battery itself, you can take the battery in, leave this in, and then bring your battery back when you're ready, and then put it right back on the unit. So uh, to put it back together, turn it back to this angle. Basically, you're gonna pull it apart and push down like you would a manual chair, fold your armrest back up. I believe back and bottom cushion are the same, so I don't think it would matter on which one is which, but you basically put it on, snap it back with the Velcros, and now you're back set to go. Um, the units do come with this little leg strap. This leg strap would go right here, um, kind of just a little bit of a calf support behind it. So I wouldn't really call it that great a support, but you do get this strap that is included with the units that will hold your calves up. So um, we're gonna go ahead and drive this unit outside, just show a little bit of a demonstration. We're gonna see if it does go in the grass. Uh, I do notice down here, um, it kind of fell through when we do the demonstration, but the unit does come with a seat belt. People do ask us that, something that has a safety concern for them. So it does have a seat belt with it. And then one more thing I wanna to test too, with this unit on, if I was to put these, this, these motors in neutral, um, there's an M down here for manual, which is to push. And then you also have the D for drive. Um, it will not, drive the unit if you're in manual, but you can push this unit in freewheel. So if you had your power off, there's no resistance. Um, people sometimes want to use it as like a walker, um, but do remember there's no built-in brakes like this. But if you just want to use it as an assist to help uh, gain either motor function or strengthen your legs, you could do that. So um, do remember wheels do need to be engaged in the drive position to drive it. Um, you do have solid tires all the way around, so you're not going to get a flat. Um, but once again, it's the X7 by ComfyGo, and you'll see me drive this outside. Here's the outside demonstration of me driving the ComfyGo X7. You can see I'm doing all of this with the hand remote. Um, so I can do it all through the joystick, or I can do it right here through the hand remote. Um, you can kind of see the turning radius. Now with these ComfyGo's, you can actually, if you're going reverse and you need to go forward, um, to stop faster, you can change directions. It doesn't have to come all the way to a stop to change directions. It will immediately stop um, and reverse the direction you're going in. So I do have that complaint sometimes because they don't 
come to a stop fast enough. Do remember you can always reverse the direction you're going with the joystick and it will start to turn the wheels the other way. So I'm going to go ahead now with the remote in my hand, go through the grass and just see. It's always a test with us here just to see how these are going to perform um, out in the grass. So surprisingly, that has a good amount of power. That was me going These units are going to turn great. Um, all the units on the that have these smaller brushless motors in the back. They work well going straight through, through grass, but you can see as I go to turn, it has a little bit more hesitation. So you don't want to necessarily do a 90 degree turn. You kind of want to do a more uh, of a circular turn instead of doing a sharp turn. That's going to help the motors perform a little bit better. Um, but overall, the speed on these units, I have a little bit of a dip here, so I don't want to scrape the bottom of the foot plates. But overall, this unit does have a really good pickup acceleration. Um, so it does fit the needs for people. Um, this is the 40 pound unit without the battery, X7 by Comfy Go. So if you have any questions, uh, give us a call. We'll be glad to talk to you about the unit. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.